What a do, Skippy Boo. It's your boy Shawnee B, and today we're going to be looking at some Bakasora gameplay and kind of going over how to build Bakasora and how to use his kit effectively in the jungle while playing Conquest. So, to start off, I'm going the Jungle Blessing and then the. I actually forget what that item's called, but the, I'm going to be going into a Stone Cutting Sword. And the first ability that I put a point into was my jump. Good luck. So let's go over Bakasaurus kit a little bit. He has a jump that does 100 damage, which makes it the most effective thing for clearing camp at level 1. His 2 allows him to eat a minion to regain health. And then his 3 is a buff to his basic attacks that allow him to do true damage. So he basically smacks when his 3 is active, and that's actually where we're going to level to level 5 first. And then his ult allows him to do a cone of attack for his basic attack, and it also shoots a cripple circle out that, allow that doesn't allow enemies to dash away, and depending on how many minions he's eaten is how many minions will spawn on his ult. So we're going to attack speed camp first, use our jump. Then we're going to make our way to the Harpies. Use the jump. Bakasaur does not really have a attack chain. So it doesn't matter how you attack him with the basic attack. I'm going for jungle buff. You call out, I'm going for jungle buff on blue. So that way if they want any XP, they can make their way over. Alona took too long, so she only got the large camp. So I popped the health potion that I got at start, and now I'm going to blink in the middle. Jump, do some damage to that Kronos. Start basic attacking, I got hit by his one. Now I peel off to start attacking Ravana to peel for the Agni. Now that he's out, I'm trying to get out. Ravana backed off, so I know I can start attacking Red. They could have invaded right there, but they look pretty spread out, and Agni is looking pretty, pretty appealing in their eyes, so they just kind of hang back. I hit the Red, so I continue to get XP. I don't want it to stand in mid and wait for the minions. I hit the Harpies, <clears throat> and then I realize that Agni is back, so right now it's better for me to clean up these minions than it is for me to go to for back harpies. So I just hit level 3, I put a point into my gobble. Kind of gobble. Regain a little bit of health, and I'm just going to kind of save my mana and my abilities in case I need them. Just going to basic attack these minions to get the XP. And my speed is about to spawn, so I'm going to want to start making my way back there and leave Agni to have his lane. So I time it just as they spawned. Gonna gobble speed, regain some health, put a point into my three. And I wanna kinda balance out jumping and using my three on the camps. Gonna go for blue. And on the second rotation, blue always takes a little bit longer just because you can clear the camps a lot faster. So I actually go and I help him hit Totem. I see that it's up, and I dash back. So right there, I actually increase the timer. So Blue's going to actually spawn a lot later than Speed because I hit Totem there. Going to make my way mid. There's nothing left for me on the right side jungle on my half. I see Cronus is kind of hanging up a little too far. Pop my three, hit him. That's all I can really do. Jump over, gobble a harpy. Now I'm level five. Enemy missing right. And I have eaten six minions. So whenever I use my ult, six minions are gonna come out. I'm gonna walk into left jungle, see if I can invade their red. It is there. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. Now looking at the mini-map, only our red is up. So I can kind of take my time making my way to it. 
And instead of going for it, I'm gonna actually try to help out left lane and gank. Oh, I pop my three, which is important because it does the true damage in the cone effect. That was a very bad jump, but my minions ended up cleaning up the Kepri, so that's a plus 500 gold for getting the first first kill. I see Rivana's there. I'm kind of all on cooldown. I don't have my ult. Can't really box them, so I'm going to go back and secure that red. And then after that, I'm going to back because speed is almost up. Speed just popped up. So Bologna wants me to gank right lane, even though... I just did work in left lane. It's the life of the jungler, you can't please everyone. So I got two health potions and two multi-potion pots. Got stone cutting sword online. And what this item allows me to do is it gives me bonus movement speed, some power, and whenever I hit them with a basic attack, it reduces their physical protections and gives you physical protections. So it just makes it to where you remove a lot of their physical protections, plus the true damage, you just kind of chunk people, and it stacks three times. Enemy missing middle. Enemy missing left. So why reducing their protections is a good thing is pretty obvious, but we could get into the math of it in a different video. Um, you want to kind of reduce their protections, and if they don't have defense built right now, they only have a few, so you, there's a good chance that you're removing close to all of their protections, assuming that they maybe have like 30 to 40 protections just based on their level. So being able to attack them when they have no protections just means you're doing a lot more damage. So I was able to go invade their red, gonna make my way back middle. And stone cutting's a good item early game, but it's not fantastic late game. But it is a very good first item on Bakasaur. It makes it to where some of those tankier people like Sun Wukong, you can do really relevant damage. So I have my ult and kind of just hanging out. I didn't see a good spot to use it because they were separated. If they were grouped up, I probably would have used it to engage. Kronos came back mid. I got tagged, so I ult just to kind of fight them off and scare them, so then I can run away. Ravana engaged in, but Agni uh, gave me a little bit of cover. So now I'm just going to work on our red. Our speed is going to be up very soon. Our purple's down, so I'm just going to hit these back harpies. I'm gonna eat and so I do not have enough gold to buy the attack speed boots ninja tabai so I'm gonna try to do another rotation I'm gonna start by getting speed An ally has been slain. <laughs> yeah. then I'm gonna hit chalice yeah. Yeah. hit these harpies again eat so now I have three minions stacked up in my passive Bologna is super unhappy with me so I'm just going to hit her blue. I don't know if she has teleport or not. So I'm going to go and hit the wave. She does, so I'm out. I'm going to hit totem and then I'm out. And I'm only hitting totem because I already rotated over here. And by me pushing wave, it gives her time to get her blue. So I didn't... I only took a little bit of XP from her, and I made it to where she was able to get her blue. But it looks like I am going to hang out and try to get this Sun with Kong, because he overstayed his welcome. An enemy has been slain. Yo, the squad is carrying. And hopefully that makes it to where Spelana won't be as angry in VGS. Gonna eat, so now I've got one minion on my passive. I didn't want to fight Kronos into a full wave, so I just secured the jungle camp, and then I'm going to clean up what's left of the wave under the tower. It would have just been a full engage, a full kit dump versus a full kit dump, and it probably would have came out neutral, because Kronos could just ult and undo all the damage I did. 
so it wasn't really worth engaging him there without support. You really want to be able to burst him down. And right now I do hit hard, but I'm not ready to burst somebody down in three seconds. So Acme's cleared this wave, my speed is up. I'm gonna make my way back. So now I'm probably overstaying my welcome. I have more than enough gold to get the Ninja Tabai boots. Usually it's best to back. I probably shouldn't have hit that last wave of Agni. I should have backed and then been at my speed. You want to buy items whenever you get money for them. So if you don't have those items, there's kind of no point in having that gold in terms of 1v1-ing your role in lane or in jungle. So I see the Sungu Kong's really running out of mana, so I come over here, I ult him, try to make it to where he can't dash right away. His dash might have been on cooldown, but Baluna, Balona ulted in to help me secure that kill. So now I've got 3,400 gold, I really should back and get some items. Alright, alright. Everybody gets one, I guess. I see the Kronos. Don't really want to fight him because I think he has his ult. Just going to kind of clean up. Now I see there's a lot going on on the left, so I'm going to make my way over there. Red is about to spawn. I don't know if their red is actually there. It looks like Kronos is wearing it, but not Kronos is in the jungle. It's a good time to engage him. Even though he's still probably just going to ult out of, out of it. Um, everything okay? So they got Agni. I got my bling and my abilities. I should pop both my potions if I'm going to hang out. But it looks like they went mid. And I'm just going to get oracles. Because I don't want them to get a gold without us knowing about it. And looks like I'm also going to go back and secure our red. And then back for the yellow timer. So since I have this, since I have 4,000 gold and I haven't backed in a while, it allows me to actually buy Hasten Katana, which will allow me to stick to them whenever I attack them with a basic attack. It'll give me movements. It'll remove the basic attack movement speed penalty. So you can just move at regular pace while basic attacking somebody if you've hit them. And then I also buy attack speed boots. And I bought them in that order because having enough money for Hasten Basically, Hasten plus Tier 2 Boots is better than Tier 3 Boots and Tier 2 Hasten. My attack speed is a lot faster, and I'm able to stick to somebody like Gugu. So, we're sitting at 2-0-1, oh, just kind of basic attack, and then Gobble when I can. I see that there's a whole team there. Chronos just misses CC, so it's time to try to Gobble him up. Looks like he didn't have his ult, so I was able to clean that up. I blink. All I need to do is hit him with a basic attack once. Looks like he gets away, even though he didn't have any mana. So I check their blue, see if we can gain anything from this high pressure in right lane. Doesn't look like it, so I tag the Pyromancer to try to secure an objective to punish them for the high pressure that we just got. We secure Pyro, and that will allow us to leave spawn with increased movement speed for 48 more seconds. Now we're going to look to invade their red. Ravana's here. I pop my three. Missed that second basic attack, so I couldn't stick to him. But I'm going to hang out by their red, see if anybody comes by to try to get it. I see that they're both actually kind of pushed up. Here comes Ravana. Gonna stick to him. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Use my three to dash in, secure the kill. Now I'm gonna try to stick onto Kronos. He pops his ult. I just got my ult. Now I know he doesn't have his ult. Just 
gonna jump in. I got out. Now that I know that mid and their jungler are dead, I'm gonna look to invade their speed. And it looks like Bologna's hitting our speed. For some reason I hit that. You can't hit the enemy jungle shrine. So Sang Wukong is not somebody I want to mess with with this amount of health. So I run away. Backing. I'm just kind of... Not much I could do in that situation without dying. So after attack speed boots, we're going to go into rage. We want to be able to start stacking crit. Rage just gives you the highest crit percentage. So it's good to grab that as your first crit item. And you can stack it by getting kills or assists on enemy gods. We're gonna hit our red, then we're gonna move mid because there's a full wave right here. Although I see Kronos, hit him with a three. And I stick to him. I get tagged or CC'd, so I jump out if anyone chases. I'm gonna pop my ult. I see he's got thorns, and there's another person. I don't really wanna fight that, so I start backing up. Probably got out at the perfect time. Bologna calls for help, which realistically, if they were looking at the minimap and they saw two people mid, they should rotate in to gank them because they're really far pushed up. So now it looks like the team's collapsing on the Sung Wu Kong and this Ravana. Get the Ravana. And then I get the Sung Wu Kong. Feeling sh. Mm, okay, I thought I was going to go straight forward for that cavalry, I'm glad I didn't. So I'm actually flanking behind, seeing if okay, I can get my team to push them out or get tower pokes. So Bologna's in the tower, now I'm getting a bunch of crits on the cavalry with true damage. Clean that kill up and back out. Now we're going to look to see if we can invade anything to gain off of that. We're going to take their speed, Boyi's middle. Looks like our team backed up. I didn't want to be engaging them as the like front line with no real back line. So I'm just hanging out in the jungle, trying to invade camps. Gonna make my way to the mid harpies. So we're 8 0 and 1. We're doing pretty good. We've gotten in a few bad situations, but we're able to disengage and leap away to avoid a lot of the damage. So this game I leveled my jump second because I wanted to maximize my damage potential but it is also okay to level the two because it gives you increased health upon gobbling the minion. So I have my ult, I have my three, I pop both things, I got CC so I just jump over. Got a nasty crit with the help of Agni. Maybe we'll just keep stuck to this Kepri and kill him. Gonna look to invade to try to secure some XP off of that. An enemy has been We're level 19 at 18 minutes. Their highest level is a 15. So I blink in on this Hoi. Because if he has his jump, I want to be able to jump as well. He apparently did not have his jump, so I'm able to just jump out after the kill. Gonna gobble a minion to get some health, and then looking to attack gold. And we're attacking gold because Agni's so pushed up left. We just killed the Hoi in. Uh, Agni's so far pushed up mid, and we just killed the Hoi in left. So we're gonna go for gold. We successfully get that, and then we're gonna hit the oracles. Clean up our red just to get the XP for it. Speed is going to be up in about 15 seconds, so we're going to hit these back harpies. And we have a decent amount of gold, so we should back. 
right back. Next, we're gonna get Aussie, so we get some life seal, attack speed, and penetration. And the idea here is we're gonna be sticking to them, attacking them with the basic attacks, occasionally getting crits, and if we get low, we wanna be able to get some life steal. So that way, whenever we're in the motion of attacking them, we can sustain a little bit longer. So I drop blue, looking to rotate mid because it's Ravana really far back up. If I can just get on this Kepri, I'm pretty sure I can just stick to him and kill him. He puts his res on himself. Kronos was nearby, just got all some minions, now I'm back into the jungle looking to invade. I was able to secure that even with Ravana here. So right there, I'm not hitting them. Even though it looked like I was hitting them. Gonna clean up mid. Everyone's really far pushed up. The whole U's still dead. Jeb's looking a little weak, so I'm going over to help Alona, give her some reinforcements while trying to nose and uh, Agni push left. There's, uh, there's two people here, the two Sungu Kongs as well. So I don't want to take any tower damage. I gobbled to gain some health, letting Bologna kind of bait, trying to get them out of tower. So I'm going to jump over, I try to hit blue but it's not there. So now that you think it's just Bologna in lane. Help right lane. This Sun Wukong jumps on me, Ravana takes too long to react, able to kill the Sun Wukong. And then this Capri catches me, but I just start basic attacking him. I see uh, Kronos come by, so I ult. That way it kind of scares him off. Jeb puts a shield on me, I'm able to jump out. So we got two kills, got a lot of people to throw abilities on us, and then our team is able to just go in and clean up, get the tower. So Hoi's pushing left, we're all pushed up. We can either be getting a tier 2 or a phoenix, while Hoi, so Bologna teleports over and actually prevents that Hoi from getting a tower. Um, if you hear an ice cream truck, I apologize, there's one driving around outside. But uh, back to the gameplay, we're looking at 14-0-1, uh, and the build is working out very nicely. I hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay, and I hope that, you know, by me commentating, you learn something about how to jungle with Bakasora, maybe how to build Bakasora. So they're all concentrated in the left jungle, but I'm going to hit my beginning routine and get speed, harpies, and blue. I'm going to go ahead and hit pyromancer because they were all in left jungle. I don't think anyone's going to rotate on me. And I'm able to just melt it without really losing any health. Thanks to Aussie and the two crit items. Gonna put a ward on fire giant. I see three people, that's not a fight for me, so I back out. Jeb goes in, takes a decent amount of damage. Blinking behind them. Throw down the ult and then focus on Kronos. He will kill him before he tell, uh, does his rewind. So Sun Wukong just used his thorns. Melt Kepri. This is where Aussie is really coming in handy. It's allowing me to just kind of keep fighting through it. 
jump on him. Bolin is able to secure that. There's the Song of Kong. And he's able to get away. And then that's where they surrender. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned anything, make sure you leave it a like. And if you're looking for more content like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll try to release some videos like this. Have a good day.